My name is Ami James, and this is for PETA. That's it. I grew up with uh, four dogs and 14 cats in the house. It was pretty crazy. But uh, it turned me into an animal lover at a very young age, you know. I have a dog named Bella. Bella tends to slob on me most of the time, and uh, <laughs> it's the love of my life. Fruit eating dog. She's a vegetarian. Greatest thing that ever happened to me, pretty much. Um, <laughs> keep that attitude flowing. Good. The younger generation really needs to get more interested in, in how to make this planet a better place, how to treat animals better, how not to wear, you know, fur and mink. If we wouldn't be wearing mink, nobody would be killing it. <laughs> Good. Cool. Excellent. And twist And it goes from that small thing to chickens that are bred in a box. Thousands of whales and the dolphins are getting slaughtered all day, every day. You're kind of like, I didn't do it. I don't know. I didn't read the label. We need to get more interested in what we're consuming. I've witnessed a few animal abuse incidents. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how angry and how violent it made me. To see people going, bringing back a bear in the back of the truck just doesn't make any sense to me. So what, so you can stuff it and you can have your glorified, you know, stuffed animal in your house, so you can tell your friends, I shot this thing, like that makes you a brave man, or I just don't get it. I was watching TV and then all of a sudden there was something about Roberto Cavalli's fashion and I saw people wearing cheetah furs and all sorts of crazy things like that to the point where I got asked to do a Cavalli vodka design and I said, fuck no, I'm not doing it. I'll never do it. I love all animals. Um, I'm just, I can't kill a roach. I'm the type that saves spiders in the house and takes them outside. And, but uh, yeah, it's, it's my life pretty much. There you go. Oh.